Hello there and welcome to a revisited version of one of my previous tutorial videos on how to best install DaVinci Resolve on Linux. In this video I am going to show you the necessary steps to set up the software on any Linux distribution and to make it pick up your Nvidia and AMD hardware for GPU acceleration. For this we will make use of Distrobox and two pre-configured Distrobox setup files. System Requirements Looking at the official system requirements of DaVinci Resolve reveals that the only supported distributions are Rocket Linux 8 and CentOS 7. While installing and running Resolve on other distributions is possible, it gets increasingly more difficult the further away the distribution of choice is from the two mentioned. Therefore, I advise you to not use anything else to run DaVinci Resolve on. To make things easy for us and to be free of choice about our main Linux distribution, we will make use of a tool called Distrobox, which allows us to run any Linux distribution within our current system, without the need for a virtual machine, which would hurt performance. Also, I'd like to state that DaVinci Resolve only works with the proprietary NVIDIA driver and RCM for AMD hardware. For Intel GPUs, I do not yet know any supported configuration. Note that DaVinci Resolve will exit if it cannot find any supported GPU or compute runtime. Setup, Distrobox and Box Body. First of all, we need to make sure Distrobox is installed in our system. You can install it from your distribution's own package manager. Simply search for Distrobox and install the package. Also, as a nice and handy user interface, I recommend installing Box Body either from your distribution's package manager or from Flatter. In this video, I will use the official Flatpak. If everything is installed, we just need to open up Box Body. Setup, Rocket Linux Container. To ease up the process of setting up the Rocket Linux Distrobox, I provide you with two pre-made Distrobox assemble files for either your AMD or Nvidia system. Please pick the one which applies to your hardware. You can download them from your official GitHub repository. The links can be found in the video description. If you are running AMD hardware, there is one additional step required in order to make things work. The local user account needs to be added to two additional user groups, render and video. Otherwise, ROCM will not be able to access the compute capabilities of the AMD GPU. To do so, open up a terminal window and enter sudo usermod-a-g render cologne video dollar log name. Now proceed with setting up the Distrobox container. For Nvidia users, this step is not required. Inside BoxBuddy, simply click the little hammer icon at the top left of the window. Then select the ini file you have downloaded earlier. This process will take a while depending on your internet connection and system performance. Install DaVinci Resolve. Download the official DaVinci Resolve Linux installer from the Blackmagic Design website and store it on your local machine. Afterwards, extract the installer archive and enter the new directory. Next, open up the newly created Rocket Linux environment via BoxBuddy by selecting it and clicking on Open Terminal. A new terminal window should appear and Distrox will do the final setup of the Rocket Linux environment. This process may take a while as well. Setting up the AMD environment takes significantly longer as Distrobox has to install a lot of additional packages for it to work. Therefore, if you read executing init hooks, please let it cook. If an error occurs, it will let you know with a red notice. For Nvidia, it only is faster because it shares the Nvidia driver from your host system with the Distrobox. If everything is set up, navigate to the location where you have extracted DaVinci to Resolve to by simply typing cd slash pass slash to slash resolve. You can copy and paste this location from your file browser address bar. Next type in dot slash davinci underscore resolve underscore version underscore linux dot run dash n dash uppercase c dollar home slash resolve while version is to be replaced with the actual version number of the installer. The installer should open up, follow the instructions on screen. Dash n will tell the installer to run as a non-root user as running graphical applications such as a DaVinci Resolve installer as root from within a distrobox container does not work on Linux distributions still using the X11 display server. Therefore, we run it as a regular user. Dash uppercase C changes the installation location of the installer as by default it will install DaVinci Resolve to slash opt slash resolve, which a regular user is not allowed to write into. Therefore, we change the location to a directory we can modify. In this case, inside the home directory of our Distrobox container, which by itself is located inside the home directory of our current user. Verify if the application is working by typing into the terminal window $home slash resolve slash bin slash resolve. If it launches and you can see the initial project selection or edit view, everything is working fine. Export DaVinci Resolve to your desktop. A nice feature of Distrobox is that it allows you for exporting applications from any container to the host system. This way you can easily launch the applications from the app launcher without distraction. To achieve this, we also use BoxBuddy. Select the Rocket Linux environment and click on Show Applications. A list view should open showing various applications installed into the Rocket Linux environment. 
Look for DaVinci Resolve and click on Add to Menu. After a short while, a DaVinci Resolve entry should appear in your Applications Launcher. Troubleshooting While the instructions given should be all to get DaVinci Resolve up and running, there might still be some issues. The most common one I cover now. Wrong Desktop Icons By exporting the DaVinci Resolve application starter from our Distrobox, it will have created multiple entries which all do share the same app icon. To fix this, edit the desktop entries and let them use the correct icons. You can find the original icons in your user's home directory under Rocky Linux slash resolve slash graphics. If your desktop environment lacks a tool to edit desktop entries, such as GNOME, you may install main menu from FlatUp to edit desktop files. Missing video and audio codecs If you run the free version of DaVinci Resolve, codec support is very limited. Also, it makes it different if you run AMD or NVIDIA hardware, as the codec support also varies between these two as well. For a full list of supported audio and video codecs, please take a look at the official readme. You can find it in the video description. Also, I do provide a convert script to re-encode a directory full of video files into DaVinci Resolve compatible format. If you're ever running the pro version, this script is probably not needed. Otherwise, you can find it in the video description. Simply put the file next to your raw video footage and run it from the command line. However, make sure you have a version of FFmpeg installed which does support the Apple ProRes codec. To find out, run the following command from the command line. ffmpeg encoders pipe grab i in quotes prores underscore ks. If it shows vfs dot 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 prores underscore ks apple prores i codec pro codec prores, you're good to go. CUDA missing. For NVIDIA based system, it can happen that CUDA gets not successfully initialized inside a container such as our Distrobox. This seems to be a driver issue and I already filed a bug report to NVIDIA. If you suffer from this issue as well, feel free to participate in the bug report. You can find it in the video description. To work around this issue, we need to initialize CUDA with an application running outside of a Flatpak sandbox and a Distrobox container. For this, I recommend downloading Blender from the official website as they offer a Linux binary we can just run. After opening up Blender, navigate to Edit, Preferences, System and enable CUDA. If your GPU is shown, CUDA is working fine. Now, start DaVinci Resolve and the GPU support should be restored. After every reboot of your system, you may need to redo this once. If it however shows a notice, devices are missing with Compute Support 3.0, please check your NVIDIA driver installations. That's it. You should now be able to make use of DaVinci Resolve and any Linux distribution on NVIDIA as well as AMD hardware. If you encounter any errors, feel free to reach out and I do my best to assist. Also, many thanks to everyone who have reached out to me so I could provide you with this updated version of the tutorial. Happy editing!